Have you ever explored the spooky world of the 1963 movie Black Sabbath? It's directed by Mario Bava and features three scary stories that will keep you on the edge of your seat. As you dig into this classic film, you'll discover lots of interesting, shocking, and touching stories. Which character from the movie left a strong impression on you? Do you have any cool memories related to the film? Share your stories in the comments below. Keep watching for more cool facts about this fan favorite. Get ready to be captivated by the mysteries of Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath, originally titled Tre Volti Della Pora, is a stylish horror anthology directed by Mario Bava and co-written with Alberto Bevilacqua. Hosted by Boris Karloff, the film features three distinct tales. The first story, The Telephone, follows Rosie, a young woman who receives terrifying phone calls from her deceased ex-boyfriend. Despite its elegant sets and lead protagonist, this segment falls short in terms of narrative strength. The second tale, The Wordalak, adapted from a story by Alexei Tolstoy, unfolds in 19th century Russia, where a peasant turned vampire, portrayed by Karlov, infects his family members one by one. Unlike other adaptations, this segment remains faithful to Tolstoy's original story, offering a stylish and eerie narrative. Finally, The Drop of Water tells the story of Helen Corey, a nurse who faces supernatural consequences after stealing a ring from a deceased medium. Karloff's presence adds to the film's allure, particularly in the Wordalak, where he embodies the classic vampire archetype. While the film's anthology format provides a decent horror experience, some segments feel predictable, with the telephone lacking in clarity and a satisfying conclusion. Director Bava's visual flair shines throughout, with meticulous attention to detail in period sets and atmospheric lighting. Although lacking in excessive gore, the film delivers moments of genuine creepiness, although its impact may vary for modern audiences. Despite its technical achievements and solid performances, Black Sabbath falls short of being a standout anthology film, yet remains worth a watch for horror enthusiasts. In the movie Black Sabbath, he underwent back surgeries shortly after Frankenstein. However, in later films and behind-the-scenes photos, no scars were visible on his back. He shares four roles with Christopher Lee, both played Frankenstein's monster and the mummy in different films, as well as Dr. Fu Manchu and Grigori Rasputin. The Les Baxter soundtrack features parodies of classical pieces in the closing credits. In 2006, Black Sabbath, the 1963 movie, was re-released on DVD as part of the Mario Bava collection by Paradiso Home Entertainment. It's the second film in the collection. One part of the film, The Telephone, holds the distinction of being the first Italian thriller shot in color. Interestingly, the film served as inspiration for the heavy metal band Black Sabbath. In 1968, the band was playing a small club in Birmingham, England. Across the street was a movie theater showing the film. The band noticed that more people were in line to see the movie than to see them. Realizing that horror sells tickets, they decided to change their name to Black Sabbath. This decision marked a significant turning point in their career, ultimately leading to their widespread popularity in the world of heavy metal. Black Sabbath, released in 1963, features horror icon Boris Karloff in a rare role as a vampire. It's notable as the only film where he portrays such a character. In the movie, Karloff delivers a memorable performance that influenced later works. The antagonist in Men in Black 3 was named after him as a tribute, suggested by Rick Baker, a big fan of Karloff. One of the segments in Black Sabbath, titled The Telephone, is recognized as one of the earliest examples of a giallo, a thriller horror subgenre. This subgenre gained prominence with Dario Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. The segment showcases elements that later became characteristic of giallo films, contributing to the development of the genre. Black Sabbath, with Boris Karloff's standout performance and the innovative The Telephone segment, remains a significant piece in the horror genre's history. The movie I Trivolti della Pora, or The Three Faces of Fear, is an Italian film. It got changed a lot when it was released by American International Pictures. They did this to make it more appealing to Western audiences. They changed Boris Karloff's introductions, mixed up the stories, added new music, and cut some scenes. In one part called The Telephone, they took out parts about lesbianism and prostitution and put in supernatural stuff instead. The Italian version of the movie looks brighter and has more colors than the AIP one. In Europe, you can get a Blu-ray with both versions and extras. But in North America, you have to buy them separately and there's not much extra stuff. 
One of the stories in the movie, The Wurgelak, is based on a novella by Alexei Konstantinovich Tolstoy, who was related to Leo Tolstoy, the famous writer of war and peace. So, the three faces of fear changed a lot when it went from Italy to America, with changes in how it's told and how it looks. And it got inspiration from books too. Quentin Tarantino often mentions Black Sabbath as a significant influence on him. The movie got approval from Italian censors on a summer day in 1963. In it, he starred alongside Bela Lugosi in eight films, including Gift of Gab, The Black Cat, The Raven, The Invisible Ray, Son of Frankenstein, You'll Find Out, Black Friday, and The Body Snatcher. Black Sabbath stands out not only for its influence on Tarantino, but also for its long-lasting impact on the horror genre. The collaboration between Lugosi and him resulted in a series of memorable performances that continue to captivate audiences to this day. Indeed, the movie remains a cornerstone of horror cinema with its importance lasting over the years. Boris Karloff, well known for his unforgettable roles as different scary creatures in old horror movies, joined the making of Black Sabbath because he had to according to his contract with American International Pictures. AIP wanted to work with Mario Bava again, so they brought Karloff on board. The film was released in the US by AIP along with another movie called The Evil Eye. This was another big moment in Karloff's amazing career. In one part of Black Sabbath called the Wordalak segment, Karloff barely blinks, making the scene super creepy. This part of the movie really shows off Karloff's talent for making you feel scared with just a look or a small movement. Even after the movie ends, the feeling of fear sticks with you because of Karloff's amazing acting. With his captivating performance, Karloff makes Black Sabbath even better, making it a classic horror movie. In 1963, a film titled Black Sabbath emerged and notable facts surround its production. The musical score for the US dubbed version, conducted by Les Baxter, was completed in a single day on September 10, 1963 at Goldwyn Studios in Santa Monica. This efficient timeline underscores Baxter's swift work on the 58-minute score. The film's title pays homage to Black Sunday, the preceding Mario Bava creation for IP. Leveraging the success of Black Sunday, distributors opted for a title reminiscent of the earlier Bava hit, linking the two films in viewers' minds. Boris Karloff, a key figure in Black Sabbath, filmed additional scenes introducing segments. However, AIP deemed these introductions unnecessary and chose to omit them from the final cut. Karloff later expressed that these introductions were among the most enjoyable experiences he had on a film set. In summary, Black Sabbath's Us dubbed version boasts a swiftly composed score by Les Baxter, while the film's title nods to Mario Bava's earlier success with Black Sunday. Boris Karloff's filmed introductions, though ultimately excluded, added a touch of enjoyment to the production.